know, the criticality of a contractor versus full-time, I mean, I think, I, I don't know anybody who would rather have a full-time employee in-house sitting at a desk beside them, knowing what everybody's doing all day and every day. Um, I mean, that's obviously, it, it gives you a sense of warmth and a sense of collegiality, etc. The reality of the marketplace, finding specific talent, means is that sometimes you have to look further afield. And the way the marketplace defines itself now is, is that, uh, is that is, it, companies uh, form really quickly and, and the products change really quickly and the like. And so the need for contractors sometimes is just there because you have a sudden rush. But you have to define what's key element to the organization, what's absolutely critical that you keep in-house. Those are the ones ideally that you'll find a full-time employee. The other stuff is fungible. Sometimes for technical talent, you're just forced to use contractors. So that's, that's one. So it could be front-end developer, it could be you know, a specialist, uh, data specialist with a specific type of data, or you could be building something that's, you know, not going to be a competency that you have for a long time. It could be hiring a PhD to put a stamp of approval on one part of your process, but you don't need to have them in the whole time. So that technical piece. But then I've also seen really successfully um, the CFO in particular I've seen done over and over again really successfully with a part-time person. It's really important to capture which IP is yours, which IP is your, is your contractors before you become involved with them because it can lead to a dispute later. Like there was always that clear fit way, but we hadn't captured it yet. So we literally went into a room <clears throat> and wrote it, you know, nothing's off limits, wrote everything on a whiteboard, captured it all, bucketed those different terms or concepts, which is a really cool and difficult exercise, saw how many buckets we had, and then tried to articulate what it was in uh, as um, efficient a way as possible. Mm -hmm.